Well, hello, 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 good morning, good morning, uh, happy Monday. Happy Monday, my brothers and sisters. This is Brother West coming to you again in another week with a, another uh, a word of uh, encouragement. This word, this word is a, 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 a direct word. Um, this word is a um, uh, insight, insight, and it's something that God wants you to do. This is something that God wants you to do and something that God wants you to be aware of. Um, this serve as, and, and with me as a prophet, a watchman, a watchman is someone who watches on the wall, someone who's uh, uh, able to see when the enemy is coming into the city and warn the people. And the prophet's mouth is the shofar and sounding the shofar and uh, letting, uh, letting all know um, what's taking place and what's um, uh, going to transpire. And so uh, a watchman, uh, the pro a prophet is a watchman, someone who guards the gates. And and so this is what, you know, I do. The scripture says that he's given to the church to fight for ministry for the perfecting of the saints that we might come into the unity of the faith. And one of the functions of being a prophet is to hold all things into exact conformity to the will of God, to the word of God. And so there's a standard. There's a standard, and that word is the standard in and a prophet is one that God's the standard, God's the word, the sanctity um, of God's word, his name. And so in, in this sense, and, um, and what I'm going to do, this is, you can say this is a um, word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy. And what I will say, give some examples, in, but, but one of the things that I will say is that God is saying to break the agreement, break the agreement, break the league. And, and if I can explain that is that, uh, many of you that are listening to me, you're in agreement, and in the agreement that you're in with someone or with someone's, the agreement is isn't equal, isn't equal, isn't equal. And the reason why the agreement isn't equal because when 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 you, when you hooked up or when you connected, um, uh, that was one person or one party had a hidden agenda. And so in other words, uh, they were tucking really true motives, their true angle, um, um, their true purpose for the friendship. And so, and and what it is is that there are many that are listening to me. You have been tricked into an agreement. You've been tricked into a friendship. And, and so, so really it's not a friendship, but really it's surveillance. What you think is a friendship, but really it's surveillance because when someone has bad intentions, what they do, they'll spy and watch and learn everything from you, learn everything about you. And the purpose is to uh, is to figure out, to learn, to wiretap. And once this this individual and this person or these people have their way and, and learn what they've learned, then they'll leave. And see, that's what the enemy does. The enemy will, when you invite him to your house, he will learn everything about what's in your house disrupt your house, then leave, uh, rush, disrupt your house to leave. And so, cause see the enemy, he's, he's a, um, uh, he, he comes as an angel of light, something that comes as an angel of light, something that comes, um, holy, something that comes pleasant, something that comes, that's going to bring peace. And when in turn, the enemy, he's bringing destruction, he's bringing death, but he's coming in the form of peace. Uh, a, a, a pseudo form of peace just to deceive. Um, and so so basically what God is saying to, to men that listen to me is to break the league because there is a hidden agenda. And see, some, some of you that listen to me, the reason why God is holding back certain blessings, the reason why there are certain things that are not transpiring or that's coming to pass concerning what God has said concerning you is because there is a, 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 a league or there's an agreement that you're in, uh, wherein God, God don't want you to be a part of it. Just like, see, because, um, the people or the connection that you have, God didn't invite them. Uh, they, they was, wasn't supposed to be a part of what God had for you. And so just like when, if I can give an example, when the children of Israel, when it was time for God to 
uh, give out portion, give out land for the the, the, the tribes, the, the the twelve tribes of uh, uh, of Israel, and and many of the tribes, they uh, instead of um, they allow their their the the Babylons, they allow uh, their enemies to stay. They allowed the enemies to stay because they were making money with them. They went, they went, they got into some kind of agreement with them, making money, hustling and stuff like that. And uh, and also some was afraid, some was emotionally tied, uh, connected. But all the reasons they decided and allowed them to stay. But when it was God's plan for them not to stay, but for the children of Israel to share, not to share this land, but to have this land all by themselves. But because they allowed the enemy to stay, God said, you can allow them to stay. But it was my, my original plan for you to drive uh, the enemy out, the enemy, the, uh, uh, the Babylonians out. But the fact that you allowed them to stay, and as long as you allow them to stay, they are going to be a, a, stick, a stickler in your eye. They're going to be a a thorn in your flesh. So, in other words, in other words, because you allow the enemy, because you allow this thing, this this uh, this this agreement, uh, 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 this disagreement with the enemy, because you allow, but because you you decided to agree and allow them to stay, they can stay. But this agreement is going to be with torment. This agreement is going to be with pain. This agreement is going to be with destruction. This agreement is going to be with hurt. This agreement is going to be very uncomfortable. And so many of you that listen to me, there's an agreement. There's an agreement that you had connected with, with someone or something in which God did not want you to connect with. But because you have decided to allow to stay and see what God is saying, God said, break the connection, break the agreement, break it now because this land and what God has for you in this land that he has prepared for you is for you. And so, but not the enemy, not, not, not the ones that you agreed with. And, and, and God, and God was also saying that, but if you allow them to stay when it was told, when and you were told not to touch, but to come out from among, be separated, but because you allow uh, certain things to stay because of an emotional tie, because of a connection, because of whatever, because you allow, if you allow them to stay in this in this blessed place, in this land that, that it was only for you, but not for strangers, if you allow them to stay, they are going to become your stickler. They're going to they're going to torment you. They're going to beat you. They're going to take you through all kind of changes until you break the agreement. Until you break the agreement. There are certain sufferings, there are certain uh, pains, there are certain curses, there are certain problems, there are certain issues that's always going to arise and surface itself until you break the agreement. And so I hope this word has helped someone today. The scripture said that he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying. And, and the spirit is saying to break, to break that agreement. Listen to this. Joshua and Joshua the ninth chapter and Joshua the ninth chapter uh, they were traveling and they, they had them defeated the enemy they had defeated the enemy at this one camp and they were and they had them decided to uh, camp at this one place but along the way there were these these men that befriended them and saying they were from a far off they're from a far away and and at first they was gonna kill them and say no don't, don't kill them uh they, they were just you know you know give them something to eat and do this for him you know then send them on their way and so they allowed them, they made league with them. They allowed them to stay. But as time progressed, Joshua heard that those men that they said that they were far away, they were near them all the time. And so basically what they were doing, they, were, they had deceived and lied to them. And so once Joshua figured that out and found it out, he said, you are cursed because you lied you uh you tricked you deceived us and so and so and so this is what god is saying to many of you today is the reason why there's certain struggles the reason why there's certain warfare there's reason why there's certain torment the reason why there's certain things that are fighting you is because 
you're disobeying God. God is telling you to let go. God is telling you to break. God is telling you what to do, but you're not hearing. You're not listening. But when you hear and when you listen and when you do what God has said, because the scripture said, when you submit yourself unto God, God will give you the strength and the power to be able to resist the devil and he will flee. Is that all right? Good morning and happy morning and God bless you and have a smile on you and may all God's best be yours. God bless you.